welcome back everybody so yeah we got everything we got our mechs back we got everything set up and ready to go i want to jump right into a mission today uh we're going to go straight into uh stealing is a form of flattery one and a half skulls against pirates capturing a base i think we'll do okay 417 uh, now we kind of got ripped off with the risk stuff last episode. I'm hoping we find something good this episode. Um, if we get an urban mech, great. If we don't, well, we'll see what we see what we get. All right, let's deploy and get a sucker down here. Yeah, we know Darius. All right, let's see what we got here. Looks like we got a. Do we have a support lance? Nope, just us. Okay, attacking this base. All right, straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Let's hope they don't have uh, long-range turrets. Alright, we may have to get in there real quick. Let's get up close. Get up as close as we can. I hear ya. want you to make sure you stay near GV. You guys work as a team, I think. One and a half skull. Could We could be encountering just about anything here, so... Nice that we got the two tag barrages. Kind of evens things out a little bit. And having the OP risk uh, Hydra ammo. It's kind of nice. Uh, okay. Um, Yeah. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Sorry, trying to decide how much scouting I want to do here. UMMM, 55 ton urban mech turret. Standard turret chassis. Okay. Waiting for orders. Going full throttle. Let's hold off using the ammo. Ooh, there was a direct line of sight here. I'm going to save that, I think, for... Uh, what's his name? Let's move. All right, now, I don't know... So I don't know what either of these are. Um, wow. Okay, let's just get into here. I think we use our lasers here. Gonna leave the barrage off for now. We're just gonna fire this. Alright, yeah, hold four points damage this turn. Oof. Okay, we know, we know they got a PPC back there. Wait. So those those are PPC turrets. Okay. Um Let's reserve you guys. Standing by. Roger. Let's take this one step at a time here. Let's go this route. Um, I want to barrage. Yeah, let's barrage early. We didn't get the turret though. Good damage. Can we get you? Is there any way we can just see that one turret? Here we go. There we go. And let's leave these off for now. We'll go with this. Beautiful. Now we can get in. close on this turret. Yeah, they are online, buddy. Get in close on this turret. Nice damage. And that'll make the uh, PPC way harder to, like, harder for the PPC to hit us. Let's get in real close here if we can. Full speed. Hit this guy. Nice.
Wow. What is he using? Is that it? I'm barely Whatever he was using, it's jammed. I should have checked as I was finishing up that last round. Let's get into here. Confirmed. It's the chance to hit this turret. Wow, the SRM is pretty good. What if I switch to Hydra? Not that great, eh? Let's punch through the armor first and then go to Hydra. So let's fire on... Let's try and get the kill on this turret. Nicely done. One less target. Okay, let's get out of direct fire range. I hear you. Coordinates received. Ah, a little chunky and laggy right now. What's going on? I got like nothing running in the background either. Okay, let's put ourselves in the trees. Target this guy. Um, it's a good chance to hit with the barrage. Let's take it. See how much damage. Well, you know, we could go with the rockets as well. Try and knock this turret out. Let's fire everything. Beautiful. You got that right. Okay. Everybody on this turret. Let's not get too close because we're going to be shooting at him with other guys. Alright, start it off. Get some more flamers on this guy. Ah, 105 damage. That's nice. Yep. Can you get into here? You can, but you can't target from here. You can though. Let's get into there. Got it. No shooting, just running. And firing. How'd that taste? Probably didn't taste so good, but. We didn't get enough of a shot on him to kill him. All right, well, let's try it from up here. See if we can get a finishing shot on this guy. You hear some banging going on in the background. It's just my door to the attic here, opening and closing. It's, uh, we got, we got the windows open. It's a nice day outside, so beautiful. It's cycling through the house and pulling the door open and close, so. Yeah, perfect. Just in time to die. What do we got? Looks like a crab. Yep, crab. Icarus 2. Sounds like they're destroying buildings over here. Is it just the two of them? Nope. Looks like a blackjack. Okay. Finally getting some weighty mechs. Icarus is what, 30 or is it 40 tons? 815 armor, it's like 30, 35 or 40 tons, 45 tons? Ooh, nice! Helping us out. Ah, there's an Urbamech. Yeah, I was kind of worried about that, but I, I wanted to kill that turret fast. I thought they might come after us like that. I'm your spaniel. You are my spaniel. I'm going. This guy doesn't seem to be hot enough. <laughs> on you, That's a lot of heat. 
Okay, we should be camouflaged now behind this rock. Or hidden behind the rock, that is. Okay, nice. Put him over. Alright, Arclight. Can't get that blackjack, huh? Okay, it's come around. I'm not I'm not gonna use the hydra on that guy because uh if we use the hydra on him we'll hit our own guys. He's got three ballistics, eh? AC twos maybe? It's not gonna be very hot. Let's just hit him with the regular risk SRM. Apply a little bit of damage. Ah, Farazan. Now we got too many guys in the way here to shoot this crab, but we can shoot the urban mech, which we will do with what we have right here. Ooh, lasers missed. He's unstable though, which is good. Actually, let's back up to here. To position. Get in some trees and get a little superior ablet of armor. And now we can use the... Uh, we'll roast this guy up. Yeah, burn you. Hit. Now we can use the Hydra on him. Back up to here. Onward. Yeah, what's up with this lag, man? I wonder if War Thunder is updating in the background again. Had that happen the other day. I had it set for the longest time not to update, and then for some reason I just I'm playing I was playing Minecraft with my son, I was all laggy, I'm like, what the hell am I looking and, and War Thunder was updating in the background. Apparently they had a big release. Alright, let's um hammer this guy. Okay, who's going next? This guy's on 14. Maybe it's him. I hope not. I want to drop the Hydra on him before he moves because I think we'll get a kill on him. Oh, he's just going to sit there. Okay, this is going to be a multi-target then. What do you need? I need you to supply me some damage to these guys if you don't mind. Let's just move into here. Oh, a barrage is back. Okay, multi-target. You. You. And these will go to B. With some Hydra. And that'll go to A. Yep, let's do this. Roger. Where'd the barrage go? Oh, that was a big miss. Not a kill, but nice heat. Badass. Yeah, badass. Yeah, I apologize. I don't remember who made the comment, but somebody said to me last episode, "Yeah, you know, you you did the episode to get clan gear, and then you took you took urban mech parts and you got ripped off." And it was just like it was like karma saying, "Hey, you said you were going to do it for this, and you didn't, and so <laughs> you got screwed." It's just like me, though. That's exactly what would happen. It's exactly what happens to me all the time. All right, you and you gonna go the same route let's fire Here we go. Oof, nice wow see ya wow see ya hundred bucks says these guys start to run now all right let's get our movement going there we go gonna push this guy Gonna push the blackjack. Generally they have longer range weapons. It is the old version, so he's probably got rifles on the arm, but if we can get into a range where, you know, he's not gonna have a chance to shoot at us with good accuracy, I'm gonna do that. 
Now our next barrage comes back next turn. Uh, how do we want to do this? Um, let's push the Icarus. I think he was trying to run and he's like stuck. He's got two harpoons and three small lasers. Okay, mess with the flamer. All right, hammer him. Now let's see how you handle this. Yeah, what's up with this lag, man? Ah, uh, Farazan with the Baraji. Now we can move into. Can we get a shot in that other guy? cannot. Oh, wait, wait, oh, uh, well, but we can only get a shot on one or the other. Yeah. 57 with the barrage. Yeah, I got a better shot than the other guy. Let's move into here. Stay on the ice, stay cool. Oh, 85, eh? Barrage up, here it comes. Wow, that's a lot of miss. You are not. It was not. I apologize for the lag. All right, GB. Standing by. Let's not get too close to this guy. Roger that. But crank that heat up if we can. Some heavy damage. You did. Roger that. I'm gonna have to restart. I mean, I just I just started the game. So I don't know why it's so damn laggy. Um, okay. Switch the Hydra back to... Whoops. Do we have any... Yeah, we do have uh, Artemis left. Not much, but we got enough for one turn anyway. Uh, let's hammer this guy. I think, yeah, he's got medium rifles. Nice. Got past the armor. Still, it's 45 damage a pop, so... Gotta be careful of that. 45 a pop. Still can be dangerous. Why? Where is this guy? Oh, he's in the valley. I wonder why I can't target the guy. Ooh! Now, do we want the back shot in the Icarus? Eighty percent on this guy, ninety something on this guy. That's pretty good armor. Let's shoot the let's just shoot the blackjack because I don't really want parts off this guy. The Icarus might ha you know, those harpoons. I have no idea how good they are, but if they're good for a melee mech, we got to put together a melee mech. So, let's just do this. There goes his leg. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. We might be able to leg him. Fail to stand up. Alright, arc light. Yep. Um one of the risks is down now. So let's just use you. Shit, this guy's almost dead. Headshot. Sweep the leg. Try for the leg. Put you up here. Try 
try to sweep the leg. Did we even hit the leg with her? Yeah, a couple points. Well, we did hit the CT, hit this torso though. Does this guy have anything we want? Not really. So let's switch targets. Although we're in a bad spot for that. I want to hit that guy from the side. Here we go. See if we can pull his leg. Gonna go out to this leg. 40 damage, 17, 5. How much he's got in the torso? A fair bit. I think we're, well, let's leave this off. Fire the rest. There's the arm and the leg. Okay. We didn't get the torso, which is good. All right, GB. Ready for order. Get into here. Go for this leg. All weapons are go. Commander? If anything, this guy's going to be superheated. Well, at least hot anyway. And leg. Commencing alpha strike. I don't know if that was a leg or not. No, we've been hitting his torsos. Leg is like almost no damage. I think we really got to get to the other side of him. Oh, you sneaky little bastard. Good move, though. Good move, though. Good to go. Got it. Let's just shoot him in the side. Really hoping for a lucky side hit here. Screw you! 102 heat. Oh, yeah. Enjoy it. Copy that. Waiting for order. Okay, side shot in this guy. What is up with the leg? I'm gonna have to restart my whole machine, I think. Hasn't been on all that long. Okay, he's panicking. Let's see if we can make him jump. Just gonna stand in the flames here because you know that's how I roll. That's a cold world, we ain't gonna get heated up. Alright, let's blast this guy. Those harpoons, they're I think they're are they ballist they look they're ballistic, but must be melee weapons. What's he doing though? So when he got one energy and one ballistic left. Oh you tricky little bastard. He's trying to cool off. I'm ready. I don't know, man, this is like a weird uh position here. He's really close to us, so we could hit our own guys. For Trying to make him bail, but he just doesn't want to. Just doesn't want to bail. I've got. That was a leg hit. Enemy down. Both leg kills. Oh yeah, nice shot, man. There we go. Better leave that barrage off or we're going to be taking that. Firing. There we go. There it is, folks. Beautiful. Mission successful. 
All right, contract payment increased by 10%. What do we got here? Yeah, that was, um, what was that from? Oh, the was that a PPC hit? That was a large laser, I think, from the uh, crab. The, the crab hit us with the large. Jenner got hit by a couple too. Yep. Yeah, we took a bit of damage on those. Um, all right, so throwing that in. I don't know if we can use it, but I'm throwing it in. So we got an AC-20 Harpoon. Now, what does this thing do? 30 damage, heat 6, hits destabilized target's gyro by 15%, times 2 critical hit chance with this weapon, recoil of 3, it's not too bad, misfire chance. So this is a, just treating it as a Gauss rifle, high damage long range weapons, 330 meters, can't be fired at flying targets. Uses harpoon ammo, so we need ammo with this as well. What's the weight? Four tons? Ah, okay. Heavy PPC plus capacitor. 80 damage, 50 heat. Well, that's interesting. ECM pirate endo steel. We're good there. A light engine. I wonder how much it would cost to put in one of our mechs. I'm going to drop it in here for now. The benefit of the light engine, of course, is that if you lose, um, oh, double heatsink kit. If you lose um, one side, you don't lose the mech. Pirate fire control system. My God, we're getting some good stuff here now. Accuracy with ranged weapons provide plus one evasion pip ignored, one re plus one recoil, 10% heat generated. Okay. Possibility. I'm probably going to take that, uh, just that and a double heatsink. I think I want to take these. Because this here will really help out the um, the trebuchet, or I could use the double heat sink in um, in the uh, Talos and be able to stack some more weapons for when we're not on a, a cold planet. That's a possibility. But anyway, I'm going to go that route. Heavy gyro, yeah. See, if we had a melee mech, definitely I would take a couple things here. But let's go this route. Alright, Blackjack, Crab, and Icarus part. Nice. Large laser, a couple of light rifles. Basic cockpit, a, a core. Which isn't too bad. We got the heavy gyro, that's beautiful. AC-20 ammo, light rifle ammo, periphery rifle ammo. Eh, okay. So it was nice to meet up with some mechs that had some scrap to them. I mean, they didn't do all that great against us, but they did have some scrap. They did hit us. If they had another lance, it could have been a, a really, really good fight. So, uh, let's have a quick look here at uh, Mech Bay. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, I can't believe the cost of that urban mech. The risk, two and a half million per part. Like, what the hell? But I guess so, like, you know. All right, we don't really have the ability to put together another urby. How many urby parts do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, see, these can all be used. But we can't get the one that we want right now. We need at least two parts. Uh, I can't remember who it was. Somebody was mentioning that um, like the Urban Mech R60 LRM, which is here somewhere, right here, uh, is not compatible with the other things. I think what it's doing is it's determined that there's two parts of this one, which means we can use other parts to put this one together. But all of the other parts, all the other mech, Urban Mechs we have, we only have one part of, which is, I think if we get another one of these parts, or another part from any of the other urban mechs, it'll give us the option to assemble that one or uh, that one as well as this one. You know what I mean? So I think it's just the n the greater number of parts is the one that it's saying that you can put together. Um, that's my guess. You need at least two parts out of five. When it was when it was out of three, it was like one. If as long as you had one out of three, you could assemble a mech with other parts. But out of five, I think you need at least two. That's my guess. But we'll have to see if we get another part in the future. All right, let's have a quick look. I don't know if there's another quick mission we can do here. Um, I didn't think that mission was going to be that that quick. Escort. Is there a? There's a. These are. There's some good escort missions. This is a contested will. Capture base. And this is, Comstar. 
Okay, well, let's try this one. It's only 313, but let's go for it. Uh, oh, yeah, we need to, like, wait for our everyone to be back here. Uh, let's manage our tasks a little better. Actually, that's as good as they're going to get. Max will be back before the pilots. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's have a look at the engineering real quick here. I want to make sure we're getting stuff going here. All right, I want to work on getting drop size and mech control all in one shot. I don't want to be goofing around with this like I was last time. Uh, so we're going to need... Um, see, the drop size is easy enough, right? Because uh, we don't have any requirements. I just can't remember what mech control was. Junkyard Leopard, that's this. Um, I can't remember what we needed for that. That's 360. Structure. The beta pod is really what I want to get, but it's like, oh, it's 900,000. That's not too bad. Let's get this right now. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. Because that's going to open up a lot of options for us. The second training module, would, which is one, and I think we can get our, our next mech bay, which is another. So that's going to open up a bunch of options. So let's go ahead and do that, and then let's get our mechs back, or our pilots back. Job is done. And both. There we go. And command center. Take off your shoe. Let's hope this contested will is just as easy as the last one. And deploy. Yep, we know. All right, well, here we go. This is the second time I've landed here. Uh, the first time we moved in and there was no contact. We got into here, there was no contacts. We had um, witness up here, GV down here, and our two uh, mediums in here. We had no contacts at the base, uh, but then it said enemy reinforcements are arriving, and then it was the, our allies' turn and they didn't move. And apparently we don't have allies this time. Okay. Well, we had, we had five mechs last time with us. A couple of griffins and a thorn and an adder or something. It looks like it's quiet now. I don't even know if they had turrets. Like, we, they, nobody shot. Nobody did anything. I'm going to move in the same way roughly as I did last time. Got these guys full sprint up into here. I was hoping for early detection, but we didn't get anything. And you were up in here first turn. So I wanted to keep you in the open so we can get maximum movement. All right, now, witness. We moved over to here second turn. Still quiet? Okay. Because we, want, we wanted to wait for our medium mechs to show up and get in closer and see if we can pick up any blips, but still nothing. You, we moved up into here. So the goal was this, the goal of me moving in like this was to try and get, um, I was here last time, but I'm going to go here this time, was to try and get some uh, sensor locks early. But since we aren't getting anything, I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I moved him up here. Because I wanted to see if there was a back turret. I thought there might have been a turret here, but it looks like there's no turret. GV, I moved over here. Onward. And then we moved Arc Light and and my Talos straight down the center here. Because now we don't have contacts with turrets. I want to get these guys in as close as possible. Full as fast as possible. Okay. Like so this is what we got last time. And then it just said allied turn and then these guys never moved. So I was thinking that they're going to come from this direction, but I could be wrong. It could be back here. Or we could be in a crossfire there and there. But I think it, they usually come from over here. I'm thinking we're going to activate this base as fast as possible. Um, I want to try... Oop. 
Phoenix Hawk Lamb. <gasps> Can we get some pieces of that, please? All right, arc light. What do you need? I want these trees. Is what I need. But I can't get in them and, I, and fire at the same time. You know what? Let's take our turn and get into position then. What can I do for you? I want to get you the freak out of there for now. Let's just get over here. Okay, the lamb's gone. That's okay. Hopefully he jumps in close next turn. Let's get you into strike range as well. Just pull you into here. On my way. Double time. Now we got lower elevation, which is why I want to kind of get up here if I can. With these guys. Let's go around this way. A little farther back. Okay, it's reserve witness. I'll wait here for now. I don't know what kind of speed these guys have. That's why I don't want to push it. If it's just a medium lance, it'll be great. Fire starter. Uh, we've got parts of an OF. Let's reserve GV and witness again. Holding action, Commander. Be nice to get one of these guys. I think we've got two parts of this. I know we got at least one part. I remember seeing it. I remember seeing fire start. I'm like, why is it in the mediums? There's the lamb. Yeah. What do you think, Arc Light? Those guys are kind of clumpy. Kind of clumpy. What do we got back here? Centurion? Yep. Barrage is super low. But I don't care. Yeah. Nicely done. Wasn't the hit that we wanted, but it was the hit that we needed. LRM 10. Whole lot of nothing. Okay, we got a vehicle back here. Saladin Mark II. Ah! What do you think? Can we target? We can't target the Saladin. Definitely we're going to be targeting next turn, though. I think the Mark II is the... Is it the up-armored version? I can't remember if it is or not. Uh, I'm going to leave the barrage off. We got, we got one in there right now. And that's fine. Well, we got ECCM going. This should be good. Yeah. Not as good as you think it is. Hey, stay in the crosshair. Oh, he ain't going to do that for you. He ain't going to do that for you. All, an ass. All that ass over there. All right, hitting him. Nothing. No joy. How's everybody making out with the... Uh, the coronavirus, COVID-19. Interested to know if anybody's quarantined. We're doing self-quarantine. I'm off this week, but we're doing self-quarantine at work. And my kids will be off school. Like, this is uh, spring break this week, and then the next two weeks they're off school. Um, Ontario's sort of uh, put a mandatory um, two weeks off for the students, which I think is a good idea. Just because of the sheer volumes of students co collecting and just spread everywhere, right? So, um, so that's happening. But we're doing um, we're doing uh, voluntary um, quarantine at work. So um, I'll be bringing my computer home from work and working at home. Now, how does this guy? That's not bad. Let's put the barrage up. So I'm interested to know if anybody else is doing self quarantine or. Had anything affect anybody affected? My uh, one of my wife's cousins has been affected. She's at home right now. Her whole family's at home, and uh, they were actually out uh, before that um, at a friend's house. 
brought the whole family over. They were, you know, hanging out, and then they found out that that family had uh, been diagnosed with with uh, COVID nineteen. So they were all under. Their, then they put themselves under quarantine, and it's just now she's got it. It's just you know awful. We haven't actually seen her face to face in quite a while, but we talked through Facebook and everything. But you know, so we do have members of the family that have been hit. No fatalities yet, of course, but still, it's like, it is a very distinct, it is possibility, right? So, got to be very careful. Well, we'll take the four. Back it up. To let Saladin shows his face, just stay away. Now this guy, I don't know if he's the AC-20 or AC-10 version. Yep. Alright, let's leave the Hydra on. Let's see what we can get out of this guy. Attacking from position. Beautiful. Target destroyed. So there's some parts. Let's just back it up over here. Copy that. Ah, one of the risks is down now. Um, Dan, that's Saladin. He's in a really bad position. I can't shoot him. Let's just reserve. Waiting for the shot. Yeah. You may have to wait a while. I don't know when that Saladin's going to move up. Yeah, there's a, I mean, a lot of families around here have quarantined themselves and I mean, I mean, I'm lucky at work because I mean, I work on a computer, right? So it's it's like I can just either bring my computer home or I can use my computer here at home, but I would rather use my work computer. It's faster. It's uh, yeah. it's got all my files already on it. Then I don't have to convert from Mac to PC and stuff. So use a Mac at work. All right, uh, let's hammer this Century on. Now he's not going to be too affected by heat because he's AC. So let's get some damage rounds on this guy. Oh, his AC's jammed, it looks like. Oh, that was terrible. Negative damage. Got an AMS? Alright, we need this salad and gone. But I can't target the bastard. Okay, let's not get too close to the salad and then just move up, get our stability back, and we'll shoot this uh, Centurion. Um, let's see if we can get him. Oh, nice shots. Look at the pieces fly off that guy. Ultra 20 and it's jammed. When did he shoot? No sweat. Am I like talking and not watching? Like, when did he fire? Yes, Commander. Let's get on this guy. I know I keep shooting the incendiaries at close range, but beautiful. He's got an ultra caseless ammo, so we might be able to pick up some caseless ammo. This guy's drunk. Look at him. Weaving back and forth over here. What are you doing, drunk ass? Burn. Um, let's threaten this lamb. Going turbo. He's not engaging. He's being a chicken ass, so let's get him. Firing. Eh, ah, bit of heat. 
We'll take it. We've got some flamers coming up there too, so. Oh, he's running. They got a lock on me. Yeah, you do that sensor locking bullshit. We're gonna burn your ass in a second here. Commander? He's giving it to you, GV. Take it. Burn that ass. Yeah. Oh, five from five hit by AMS. Well, this guy decides he wants to die, so let's just let him die. AMS that. Well, we've had two easy matches here. I'm kind of shocked. Okay, that's actually not that bad. So let's switch this to Artemis, because I want to go after his leg here. See what we can do. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. Firing everything I've got. Yeah. Ooh, I may need some more time in the I'm receiving you. More time in the simulator? Yeah. I'm asking you to do something hard, so it's not that bad. One hit, but I don't know where that hit though. Don't know where that hit. Hopefully it was the leg. Looks like it might have been the leg. Hmm. Yeah, probably. What's he doing? It's gonna be a jump, probably. Oh my god, really? Yep. As much as I want to barrage this guy. <laughs> Let's go for this leg. Firing. Not quite enough, eh? All right, we should be able to sweep this leg. Did we get it? Yeah, right leg gone. He bailed. Beautiful. Beautiful. There it is, folks. All right, 216,000, which is kind of nice. We didn't take very much damage at all here. Now, they got four farts, farts, four farts, buddies, four farts, four parts of a Phoenix Hawk lamb, ER medium, ER large, large X pulse, 80 damage, seven tons, 55 heat, plus one accuracy, ignore one evasion pip. Oh man, light rack. I think you need to have this in your hand though. Lamb Aluminium Armor. Minus 10 weapon heat, 20% jump distance. Minus 9 heat per turn. Lamb Structure, 30% jump distance. Really? Prototype Double Heat Sink, Radic, oh my god. I don't know, Ultra 20 Caseless. You know, whatever we take, and there's a lamb engine too. Plus one max evasion, plus one evasion pips for movement. Requires partial wings to be installed. 20% jump. These, we don't have partial wings, do we? They did not drop, did they? Another Ultra 20. Already got one. My God, guys, I don't know what to do here. We can't complete the Phoenix Hark Lamb anyway. We we do have a Firestarter OF piece, but I don't think it's this version. It's not going to matter because we won't be able to assemble the mech. So I'm thinking we take stuff that we can use. So the large X-Pulse... I mean, this could go on the Talos. 
media max pulse we've already got I think we still got one of these right yeah I just haven't installed it on anything yet now here's the question large X pulse what's the range on this 510 this is 330 I think right yeah I was gonna say you could run two of these guys 56 heat 90 damage but the range is only 330 for one of these guys which is 55 heat 80 damage for seven tons this is three tons more but you've got to be closer for the medium X pulses but you still save three tons right you're split I know it's not one big hit damage but still at this level two two hits of 45 are pretty darn good oh man what do I do here how often are we gonna uh, like where is this gonna go because the problem is is that all my mechs have got light engines we, oh, with the exception of we could put this in the uh, yeah we could put this guy in the um, trebuchet I really hope we get some of this stuff. 250 core. I know I was asking for one of those for the Talos, but like I said, it's like seven tons more than what we've already got. So if I take the large X pulse, that means I would be the large laser and two medium lasers off of the Talos that we got to take, and we would have one weapon with a little bit better accuracy. This is, I think, the only time I've ever encountered one of these guys. I don't think we encountered one of these in the last series. Or maybe we did and I didn't see it. But I'm going to grab that. Yeah, there's no there's no ammo for this uh, light rotary AC2. Has it got built-in ammo? 80 armored with its carrying hand has 120 shots that can explode so it it actually does have rounds in it what's the weight tonnage zero because it just goes in the hand shit that's a bonus too heat zero that's like a cheat weapon man what the hell just takes up space in the hands. How many slots? Five? Uh, like we could use this. Damage is nine times three. Oh, it's so it's like barely any damage at all. But range of 780 meters. It's kind of cool, but I think the mech has to have a hand, which means this would need to go in the Talos. Because it's the only mech that we have that can carry it. You know, I'm gonna leave that for now. I think we've I think we've got what we need here. Let's take these. Okay, two Phoenix Hawk lamb parts. ER large laser. Com suite. This definitely can go into somebody. We got the lamb engine. And that's it. Well, we did okay. Alright, that's like nothing. Beautiful. Alright, so what I'm gonna do between episodes is we're gonna jump. Um I know there's a few other things here we could do, but nothing seems to me that's like really, really exciting. Just ambushing a, a Clan Burrock convoy at two skulls, that would get us killed probably. Um, one and a half liberation, which is a destroy base against a pirate band. Well, you know, maybe we stick around, we do this, and then... Now, you know what? I want to jump. I think between episodes I'm going to jump, and I'm going to update the mechs. Uh, with the new gear that we got. And we'll find a planet that's kind of between Comstar and Clan Burrock. Hopefully play them off against each other. Pick up some good gear. And then uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.